vlogmas day one let's go i thought i would vlog here and there i don't know if i'll do consecutively for 12 days 24 days every other day whatever but just kind of get out of my comfort zone and do a little bit more vlogging my husband came home with my i gave him like coffee order to save like i have it in my favorites folder it's the holiday blonde roast it's called a like clover or something something i don't know and then i do one pump cinnamon dolce syrup a splash of half and half and then sprinkle it with cinnamon powder and it's so good because you still get the holiday flavor without the super sweetness and it's also like only 100 or so calories anyway it's gonna be a hair vlog these extensions are beyond ready to come out they have held up so well you guys i'm so impressed they're from the brand vin hair v-i-n-n hair.com which they did send to me and i believe these are the color number seven and these are the narrow tape ins meaning like the little plastic piece that you see it's very narrow compared to the regular tape that you see so when your hair moves you only see like a little bit of a shiny strip because it will stand out but these are like beyond ready to come out you know they're ready to come out when they start flapping and they start peeking through your hair like you can see them let me tell you so it's been gosh guys i apply these in the beginning of october i think like october 4th or something it is now december 1st it is vlogmas that's crazy i had them in for two months and look at the quality i wouldn't recommend having them for the two months honestly because it's just not good for the hair if they start to like twist and they grow not too much it's like a fruit fly and then there's like fuzzies everywhere i'm sorry but yeah i wouldn't have them in for more than like six weeks but look at how soft these are two months in i wash them i dry them i curl them whatever i have never had extensions hold up this well to the point where i can actually reuse these like i'm going to reuse these and they cost i think they increase their prices i'm gonna have to rewatch my other vlog but in that vlog i'm pretty sure they were like 60 70 dollars maybe it was just the 14 inch i don't know but these are under 100 dollars, so it's still very very affordable compared to like competitor prices and they've held up really well this is my nail spray that I use for my nails. It's basically isopropyl alcohol. I also have a bottle of, from the hair shop, they have a remover that they sell that I really, really like, but I ran out of it and I just keep refilling it with isopropyl alcohol, but that one's nice because it has like a little pointy tip that you can get in between the tapes. So when it comes to tape and extension removal, the actual removal process should be fairly easy. What I do is I spray the tape and let that isopropyl alcohol seep in. What this does is it kind of like loosens the glue. So isopropyl alcohol will make the tape less sticky, like the adhesive is no longer as sticky. And don't pull before they're ready, like kind of just keep, keep spraying. I don't know if you guys can even see what I'm doing. I'm using my iPhone because my Canon is still nowhere to be found. Well, it's in Best Buy. I don't know what's taking them so long to fix it. All right, so we got one piece out, and now this piece is usually the trickier one. So I spray it and then come in from the back and pull downward and slide it out. The thing with tape and stuff that people complain about is some of that remaining adhesive will still be on your hair. I don't know if you can see it, but there is a little bit of adhesive still on my hair. So once this dries down, some of my hair strands will be stuck together with like little bits of glue. That's probably the most annoying part, and this is where people sometimes end up with some hair damage in my opinion. So what I like to do is while it's still wet, I kind of very gently brush through so long as there aren't any like glue chunks. You don't want to be tugging at your hair like crazy. And then go in with like a hair oil or something. I have this Alterna healing serum right here. This stuff is like very greasy, but it's also very good for the hair. So I'm going to do a little tiny bit for each section and run it through so that when it comes time to wash my hair, I can like get all those tidbits out sometimes it takes a couple washes but this is definitely the most annoying part don't tug just don't tug that's where things can go wrong like if it's not ready don't tug and that's how i personally remove gosh i cannot wait to like really give my hair a good scrub all the extensions are out i went ahead and applied this hair mask from blake brown into my hair this is a pre-shampoo mask and then double shampoo anytime you're using greasy oils hair oils things like that rich masks Especially if you have fine thin hair, definitely double shampoo. Otherwise, your hair is going to come out greasy and it's like you never washed it in the first place. Post shower body care Kopari is one of my favorites. This is a light kind of like everyday lotion. And one of my favorite things is the pump top. Like this right here. It's kind of like the skin better. Not the skin better, but the skin fix, I think. 
love 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 this top it makes it so easy to use i also have kopari's body butter if you want something thicker and their oil which i love to apply for like a little bit of glisten to make my skin nice and supple but right now i'm just gonna apply this i'm not gonna lie in the shower i did have more hair than usual like in the drain so i'm kind of nervous but i will say that anytime you remove extensions because you get so used to the thickness it's going to be a mental adjustment like you're gonna feel literally bald like where did my hair go but for me i know what my ponytail was like like i know it was literally like non-existent literally this thin especially the end because my hair is short so the ends here are just more sparse because i do have some hair that's like shorter and stuff versus if it was longer and it was all one length but we'll see i'm just getting ready for the day i'm doing the jane iredale press powders these are my all-time fave for like a quick easy makeup look i actually go between a few different foundations but this is definitely one of my top three and i did already conceal in the inner corner and stuff today is sunday it's obviously vlogmas but we didn't go to church because everybody's kind of getting over something i don't know what it is like a couple days ago i started feeling a little bit funky before that it was my kids so i'm just kind of letting letting it run its course i got an email saying my husband's ray-bans came in i got him ray-bans and then this one cologne and then i want to get him a wallet off of christmas because he needs a new wallet his is like literally falling apart it's gonna be my third time buying him this wallet i buy it basically like every christmas i forgot the brand but it has like a money clip inside and then the cards you pull a tab and the cards slip out i started buying it in like 2019 i've just been buying it ever since it's affordable so basically all of the person shopping like i'm done with all my christmas shopping i bought my mom the perfume from letta during black friday she had 20 percent off or 30 percent off 25 percent off i think it was 25 percent off because for cyber monday she's doing 22. i got all gifts for my sister and my kids for my dad i'm thinking to do a photo album of all the pictures from his 80th birthday that we had this year and give that to him he loves looking at pictures and stuff he loves taking pictures he loves memories so that'll be pretty sentimental and this is my friends we used to always do like a christmas pg party every single year and do secret santa with the kids and with us the adults those are no more because i don't live there alina moved away and i have no friends here other than like family my sister sister-in-law my cousins i have my cousins i'm pretty close with them but i don't see them that often because we're an hour away and everybody's just so busy with their lives and stuff you know i do miss new york during this time of year especially or like kids birthdays Nothing will ever replace my childhood friends. So that part kind of sucks, but I guess it comes with the territory. It is what it is. What are you going to do? Maybe I'll make some new friends once we're closer. We'll see. I will easily talk to people, but when it comes to actually like being really close with someone, not really. You know, some people like my sister's complete opposite. She will meet someone and she will like pour her heart out and they will instantly click and become like BFFs. Me, I'm definitely more reserved. Very, very reserved. I think that's why I have a hard time vlogging because i will share stuff like this is me sharing this is what i would share with people but in terms of like those deep connections and stuff i i don't do that with just anyone couldn't be me but everybody's different i'm gonna blow dry my hair and we'll see what happens i might cry a little bit because it's not gonna be fun to see like how thin my hair is plus it's like this awkward length 2019 i made a video sharing like my blow dry routine when i first started my youtube channel and my hair is basically the same length as it is now a little bit longer i applied a mousse in my hair a volumizing mousse from blake brown but because my mousse doesn't have heat protection in it can i help you sir i think he sees a bug i'm gonna use my leave-in conditioner for a little bit of that but i don't want to do too much because i don't want it to i don't even know how much this is going to protect my hair because I didn't spray it that much. I need to get a mousse that does have heat protection in it, but I want to use up that one first. For volume at the roots, I'm going to use this Nexus Root Spray. I don't love this one. I like that it doesn't leave my hair crunchy, but I feel like it doesn't give me the lift that I want. The one from Color Wow raised the root. I feel like that one was better. My goal with my hair is to grow it out where even like the shortest pieces are at least like right here. And this is like the worst stage right now because it's like not here, not there. And then also I had bangs in the beginning of the year. Do you guys remember? Like legit bangs. Thank God those were like basically all grown out. I don't know what I was thinking with my fine thin hair, getting bangs. I mean, for some people maybe, for me it was a no. All right, and then the last product I'm gonna use on my wet hair before I blow dry is this Alterna Sealing Serum. I'm just gonna use the tiniest bit because 
my hair is so fine and thin. When I have extensions, I use a little bit more, but on my fine thin hair, just the tiniest bit to like seal the hair because my natural texture is like very poofy. I don't know, I feel like it changed after I had kids or something, but once I grew up, it used to be like sleek and thin, like I didn't even have to wear thin. Like smooth and straight, I didn't have to really even straighten it. But now it's just kind of like if I left it in the humidity, it would get all weird and funky. I'm just gonna rough dry it and then at the end, I'm gonna kind of just fix up my bangs with the round brush and that's it. And what I like to do is when I dry it, I kind of hold my hair like this and dry it underneath so that I get the lift at the roots that I want. I don't know, I feel like I've been doing this for over a decade. only it was actually this poofy to an extent but it's not i was just blow drying it upside down so now i'm gonna brush it out starting from the ends i still feel like there's a little bit of that glue throughout my hair like it's gonna take a couple washes so i'm going like this i feel like i can feel it a little bit that's probably the most annoying thing with tape in not gonna lie so i'm gonna do a couple of hair masks for the next couple of days just like really get it out but let me like smooth my hair all the way down. The freshly washed hair always looks best. I'm pretty happy with it, like in terms of I thought I was gonna it was gonna look a lot worse than this, but no, it's pretty good. They do have the volumizing mousse that really gave me a lot of the mousse. But you see how like my hair got so much drier. I mean I do have some bleach still. This is all growing out. I did color a lot. Like this is very processed right here. So it could very well be that. <laughs> so we're on a journey to get back to my natural hair color. Me at 32, this is basically my natural hair color. So what I'm gonna do now is, I don't know if I wanna curl it or use a round brush to kinda like smooth it out. It's like the front pieces here. That's what I do. So I need something for all over volume. So that could be a mousse or a thickening spray. Mousses these days, I will say, are a lot lighter on the hair. Like you almost can't feel that they're in there. A thickening spray sometimes can make your hair feel a little bit gritty. So I love using a mousse and then a root spray to give you lift at the roots. If your mousse has heat protectant, then you could probably skip the leave-in conditioner, but it is nice to use just in general to use a leave-in conditioner, but this would probably be step one. And then something for the ends, a hair oil. I love the Ceiling Serum. I have the Olaplex hair oil. And then for after, I have these two right here, the Day Dry Shampoo. I love this stuff. And then this is what I use. This is the Big Brew Density Spray, Root Spray from Dry Bar. This kind of acts as a, almost like a texturizer root lift, but for when your hair is dry. It can make the hair a little bit gunky if you use too much, especially if you're using this like two, three days in a row. But it's nice for like freshly washed hair. I feel like it adds a little bit of oomph to the hair. Actually, I'm gonna curl the hair. I have my T3. I actually put it to the lowest settings because the thing with this T3 is it sometimes can get pretty hot. So what I'm gonna do is kind of curl the hair in alternating directions. So I'm gonna curl the first section away from my face like I usually do. And then the next section I'm gonna curl towards the face. A few seconds release everybody kind of has their own curling technique and then this whole top section i'm going to curl away from my face what the back looks like i don't know but i'm going to go ahead and brush it out so that they can be very loose does it look crazy i don't know but hmm, all done now we can do the lashes for lashes i'm going to be doing a new style from dark swan of denmark this is their style bloom and i think it is so stunning and so beautiful this is the short mix so there are sizes 8 10 12. if you want longer then you're gonna have to get the long mix but i love these because they have some density at the base and then they're super wispy at the tips they're just such a gorgeous lash and they do have a little bit of fluffiness you can kind of tell when you look at it from the side sorry my nails are kind of gross right now because of all the glue but these are so beautiful so i've been doing a short cat eye look with them i'm gonna grab my lash links glue and then run it along the base i'm gonna grab a 12 and also apply some glue to the base of this lash for like extra hold and the application is the same you guys already know i just start on the outer corner don't apply it too close to the roots but I like to apply them close enough where it looks like they're growing out of the roots 
make sure you're angling it properly so follow the curve of your eye shape make sure you're really aligning the curves the lash to your natural eye shape sometimes when you misalign it then you'll get poking so this is very important i kind of wish i had 14s i mean these are so beautiful you guys they just had a sale of 30 percent off i wish i would have shared sooner i shared on my instagram stories but not so much on youtube and i feel like more people follow me for lash stuff on youtube i'm sorry and for hair hair and lashes i feel like are my main my main things here and these i did by myself sharon told me that dark swan has this new style and i looked at it and bought it within like a minute i'm like those look gorgeous i'm gonna try them out all right so we have two 12s i think i'm gonna do another 12 i'm gonna do three 12s all together and then tens and finish off with an eight and i am overlapping them the edges just so that it's super seamless almost looks a little bit like a doll eye so i did three twelves a ten and an eight and to add some more density i only have four twelves left so i'm going to take one of them and i'm going to cut it in half and i'll do half on one half on the other i wish i bought more of these when it was on sale because you guys these are so pretty and it might seem expensive can't remember what the price was but it is a little bit more expensive compared to like if you're buying these off amazon but all her styles are very pretty unique like i've usually some brands they the styles you can find from like amazon and stuff but with this one no these are very specific to dark swan at least that's something that i've noticed so these are gorgeous and you're getting three rows of lashes so you're not just getting like one set you know and then i'm gonna do a 10 maybe like two tens next to that for some depth. Actually, I'm just gonna do one ten. I think I'm gonna keep it like that. These are stunning. I think she did an amazing job creating these. Like I've tried, I have all of the, her lashes. She sent them to me in the past, but these for sure my favorite out of all the ones that I've tried from Dark Swan. I'm gonna go ahead and replicate this look on this eye. Here's the full finished look. These lashes again, they're so stunning. Love them, you guys have to try them out. If you love lashes, I feel like you will love these. They are so beautiful. They're like feather light. The band itself is very, very, very thin. And again, I use the Lash Links adhesive, the one with the micro mascara wand. The only thing is that it's very sticky. I feel like because of the stickiness, that's what gives it really, really good hold. But that can bother some people. So I went in with ice from Lash Links. It's a sealant. This one's not waxy based, so it's not gonna coat the lashes in like a waxy film. Another glue that I love is the Dark Swan of Denmark glue. My sister uses that to this day. She would use a lash fry glue for like a good three years maybe, if not more. And then I was over one time and I gave her the Dark Swan of Denmark glue and now she just uses that. So that one's really good as well. I feel like that one's not as sticky. I just don't have any in my collection. I would have used it. I kind of gave the ones that I had to her because she loved it so much. So now I don't have any, but it is a good glue. I have tried it and I do like it. I love these lashes so I wanted to share because I know you, a lot of you guys follow me for lashes and Thank you to Sharon for telling me that they came out with some. I love Dark Swan of Denmark as a brand. She's been nothing but kind and like super understanding and everything. And she's always like sending me stuff to try out and her products are amazing. So I would always support a brand like that. But yeah, for fear of this video being too long, I'm gonna go ahead and finish this vlogmas here. Plus I have to give myself some time to edit it and put it together. Happy December 1st, you guys. I cannot believe it. That means 24 days until Christmas is over. That's how I see it. I don't see it as like 24 days until Christmas because once Christmas comes, the whole holiday season is basically over. Like for me, this is all of Christmas. This is like the whole Christmas spirit, this whole season. So for me, it's just so sad. Let's enjoy it. I hope you guys are having a great start to your week. Thanks for tuning in and hanging out and I hope to see you guys in future vlogs. Bye.